Hey, I'm Daryl Cagle and I'm talking to Mohammed Sabaneh, a Palestinian cartoonist born in Kuwait. And Mohammed is interesting because uh, you have uh, been thrown in jail by the Israelis without charge for a long period of time and there was a uh, campaign among the cartoonists to write letters on your behalf to get you released. You're also interesting because you take uh, flack from the other end of the spectrum, from uh, the PLO in the West Bank and from Hamas. So from both sides, you are struggling to be a cartoonist. And I wondered if you could talk to us a little bit about that. Actually, it, it's very hard to be a cartoonist, not just in, in Palestine, in all the Arab world, because uh, all the regimes in Arab world uh, uh, do not understand what's the, ro the really role of the uh, cartoonist. Uh, and in Palestine, the situation is special because it's, it's state and not state, under occupation, there's an occupation, uh, have a control in the border, uh, and Israel does not accept the criticize from the cartoonist and you can find around the world how many accidents happen from the Israeli and asking for apologize for cartoonist or uh, newspaper just because they consider this cartoon uh, and says him or something like that and even in Palestine which we cannot consider it as a state but they have their own security forces they have their own uh, area they control in, uh, in the area, uh, newspaper and media, the same media, and this is another thing. The situation in Palestine is it's very complicated. Uh, now you work, you work out of Ramallah? I'm, I'm working in uh, the formal newspaper for the Palestinian Authority called Al Hal Jadida and publish some of my cartoon in cartoon movement. In I've got to say, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised that you were jailed without charge by the Israelis, but I don't think people are much familiar with uh, any kind of censorship or pressure that you're put under by the Palestinian Authority uh, to make your views conform to what's acceptable there. Could you talk a little about that? The situation with the Palestinians, it's, it's very complicated because even the Palestinians, they are uh, Palestinian in, in Gaza, Hamas control and the West Bank control. Actually, the, the, the situation in the West Bank better than the situation in Gaza because the Islamic movement there have a control there and uh, how does that affect you with what you're able to draw in your newspaper some uh, in 2010 for for example I drew a cartoon criticized Hamas leaders Ismail Haniya and they made a campaign against Ahmed Saban got my number in their websites and their uh, blogins uh, a campaign just, because of the cartoon that yeah, they objected to yeah and because they don't have any control in this bank they can judged me or uh, following me in the West Bank. They put just my mobile number and my uh, Facebook account, my email, and just sending a threat from Gaza to the West Bank. The situation in, in the West Bank, better than Gaza, but it's, it's still not uh, not completely. You have so how does that affect speech. what you draw? Actually, when I draw, I don't look for all this point, and that's what why I, I am in, in, in this triple. If I consider, if I care about their red line, I will not draw anything. What is their red line? What is the red line? For example, in, in West Bank, you can draw anything against, for example, President Mahmoud Abbas. In, in, in Israel, anything you can consider as anti Semitism. you can't uh, draw it. In, in I think of uh, a general rule of freedom of the press around the world is, are cartoonists, cartoonists allowed to draw their own president? Would you say that you're not allowed to draw Mahmoud Abbas? In Palestine? No. You, 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 can, that's that's uh, like all the years in Egypt when no one could draw Mubarak. You're just not allowed to draw Mahmoud Abbas. Yeah, in in, in uh, Palestine you yeah, you can draw it in in. Uh, but from the West Bank, you can draw Gaza Hamas leaders. Yeah, in in, in West Bank you can draw uh, Hamas leaders, and even yeah, in Gaza you can draw anything against Hamas, against Hamas leaders, against. Anything related to Hamas and even the Islamic brother in Egypt, you can't draw about them in, in Gaza. Does your newspaper push back against these red lines? They they don't call me, but if any anyone of my cartoon uh, do not they do not accept it, they do not publish it. But they don't call me to don't draw like this or don't draw like this. They Maybe. just kill cartoons they don't like, yeah. and you draw the conclusion that that's why they weren't liked. Yeah. So how do you deal with that? Do you 
push the limits? Do you draw lots of no. cartoons that get edited? I, I draw a lot of cartoons and uh, any cartoon they do not publish it or they do not like to publish it, I put it in, in, the, uh, in the Facebook and that's why uh, I had small trouble uh, recently because of one of my cartoons talk about the BLO. Mm -hmm. They did not publish the cartoons in, uh, in their uh, newspaper and they blame me why you uh, publish this cartoon in your Facebook page. The newspaper quizzed you about why it was on the Facebook page or yeah. the PLO did? Yeah. Um, I guess I'm trying to drive at, you know, cartoonists all the, over the world complain about their editors and editors enforce their own personal red lines but where censorship becomes an important issue is when it's imposed by the government and sometimes that can be hard to discern what is what is the government telling your newspaper not to allow you to do actually i'm not in a good uh, view uh, what's the government tell my my newspaper because i'm not going to the newspaper i'm just sending my uh, my cartoon for the newspaper and they uh, they choose to buy it, one uh, or not buy another yeah, one that's i can i can look I, I i can know how what they will publish and they will not but uh, what i draw what i need to draw not what they need to to publish yeah and that's uh, how i can keep me, uh, myself out of this red line because if I, I will draw what they will publish i will put myself on their shoes again. Yes. Well, that all sounds terrible. Now, how how does the Israeli red lines? How do how do those affect you? It's it's not clear the Israeli red line. Israeli red line. They can consider any cartoon you put the historical map of Palestine. It's a, it's a dangerous cartoon because you you consider you do, do not recognize Israel as a state. Uh, you, uh, Drawing any uh, David Star, they consider it antisemitism. Yeah. Well, I think we all assumed that you, when you were held in Israeli jail without charge, that that was due to your cartoons. And of course, many Palestinians are held in Israeli jails without charge. Would you say that you have an insight into that to know that it was because of your cartoons? I do not do anything against the state of Israel except my cartoon. That's what I do against Israel. And uh, but you said that without charge, they charge me. They charge me that I had. Well, when I wrote my letter for you, you had not been charged yet. You, you were held for a long time yeah, without charge. I, I stay two months without charge, and that's why I think they charge me because they think uh, when all the people around the world support Mohammed Sabani, they thought that they have to charge me anything because if you if they did not charge me, they will look like that they are against the freedom of speech, and I think they are just arrested me because of my cartoon. I do not do anything for the state of Israel. I'm not a fighter, I'm not military guys, I'm not doing anything. I'm just a man who's got to yes, his the whole, the whole point of the campaign on your behalf, I think, was that you were being held without charge. Yeah, because it's, it's all this campaign started because they, st uh, they charged me uh, after two months. Yes. After two months, they charged me. And the only of that, you put, uh, they, they put me uh, two months inside the jail, then <coughs> they charged me. It's not it's not logical thing. I don't think it's a... So uh, then they held you another two months and dropped the charges? Yeah. yeah. They put me uh, another two months. Uh, that's why I have... Uh, they say that I have a relation with some group against Israel. And that's uh, some group against Israel. It's, it's uh, also a joke because all the Palestinians under occupation, they are against Israel. So, as you see it, there's no reason they could have possibly wanted to put you in jail except to uh, chill your cartoons? I, uh, that's what I thought, and that's uh, what's happening, because they did not find anything just uh, to, to arrest me just because I'm a cartoonist. Is there anything else you'd like to say to American fans? Thank you. Nothing, uh, nothing else, just uh, we need their support for uh, our our case in, in Palestine and uh, so the, our so their support for what's happening in Palestine well i appreciate you mohammed thank, thank you so you. much thank you